my wife Jane was working in the kitchen and I'm looking in this hole and I'm going, hey Jane, come out here, you gotta see this. And she was quite shocked. There's a wood cribbing all the way around the well, except at the top where it started to fall in. And so there are boards trapped or caught part way down. And we thought the well only went to 30 feet because the boards were at the bottom. But when we put the light through the boards, it actually went quite a bit further. This particular well is mapped uh, about 100 to 200 meters away from here. They didn't have to survey uh, wells in back in the 20s, 30s, and 40s. Because of the amount of rain we've had this year, uh, the soil underneath the sod washed away. Basically all that was holding us up in that depression was 35 years of intertwined roots from the grass. There's a form that you fill in for the Alberta government to let them know uh, what you did to abandon the well. And we'll mark it on, and I'll make sure it gets marked on our survey that the abandoned well has been filled. We'll take lots of pictures to show people that it no longer poses a threat. You think about baby Jessica in Texas back in, I think, the 90s, where she fell into a well and was stuck there for 58 hours while they bored down to get her out. I talked to Ray Field, who I believe is the president and owner of uh, Big Iron Drilling. He says he gets calls every year about animals or falling into unmarked wells.